Okay, thank you for that, Bill Gint. Tommy, I, I, no, hang, where, I, I, I will come back to that point, from? Tommy, but I just want to put one quite fulsome point to you, if I may. I'm sitting here in a studio yep. in Doha. We are in Qatar. We are arguably in the middle, in the heart of the Middle East. Therefore, we are in the heart of Islam. Let me just read something to you from the Holy Book, and I want you to react to that, okay? And you can't see me, but I've got a copy of the Quran in front of me. There are parts of a Holy Book that talk about people being persecuted and killed. There are parts of a Holy Book that talk about people all over the world being killed because you are my followers. Another quote from one of the Holy Books in this part of the world talks about people being stoned to death with stones until they die. Another part of a holy book that one can read in this part of the world talks about utterly destroying your enemies, spare them not, but slay both man and woman. When you hear those quotes, what do you think that speaks to? I'd ask you why you're reading the Old Testament to me. You've had that before, haven't Simple you? Simple question. So, no, it's a simple question. I'm not stupid. You're sitting quoting verses from the Old Testament, thinking that I'm a moron, that would think that's from the Quran. I know the Old Testament and I know the Quran. Now, can I ask you a question? Have you read the Quran? Yes. You have? Yes. Yeah? So you, you, in English, you, you, not in Arabic, but in English. In English, are you free, sitting where you are in Doha, to criticise the Prophet Muhammad? Are yes. you free to do that? Yes, I am. I have had, I, I, I have had see, intelligent I... conversations with my Islamic colleagues on the very same subject. Yeah. So you know, you know of the life of Muhammad, yes? You know that he murdered 600 people. You know that he raped. You know that he has... No, no. People in the Bible is very different to people in the Bible and, and the messenger of God who is the most moral compass for every Muslim in the world. And when he is the moral compass for every Muslim in the world and he married a six-year-old child called Aisha and he raped her when she was nine, I have a problem with that. And when people wish to live as Muhammad did in my country... Well, you are, you are, no, no, the, the country you're sitting in now, it, people from Israel are not even allowed to enter it. So if we talk, want to talk about fascism, the country you're in now, pe people with Israeli passports. But, okay, is that, is that untrue? Can, can someone in Qatar leave Islam? Yes. Is apostasy punishable? You don't, have, you don't have to be Islamic to be in Qatar. You can leave the someone country, you can, can come into Islam. the country if no, you no, are Jewish. I'm Muslim. A Muslim cannot leave Islam is punishable in Qatar. The country that you're talking to me from, the country whose tower I'm sitting in, the country that funds radicalization worldwide, the country that supports Hamas, and you're sitting there trying to take some moral high ground about, about issues in the world that relate to Islamic extremism. When, when the country and the people who are paying your, your wage are propagating that extremism worldwide. I've come into this building and just had to go through an airport style scanner, and when I asked why, they said because of the Paris attacks. Tommy, well, I do have to move the debate on because I do have to move the debate do. on. Yes, of course I do. Of because course you do. Otherwise, you and I will end up having. Like what you're no, no, that's not true, sir. No, otherwise, no, you and I will no, have no, to I'm have. Tell you, the truth. you and I will have to have a conversation down the pub the next time I'm back in London. Alexander, coming back to you, the imagery.